oh my goodness greetings beautiful soul welcome into your tarot card messages i'm getting you are blessed things are working out in your favor do not worry about anything you are protected and looked out for and then there was um, a confirmation like to reassure that back that up again just to tell you for real for sure and this is your money reading remember take these messages as entertainment take them as you like they're for you what resonates use your discernment thanks for your show of support also on the journey all the best to you and this outcome will be better than expected there was a time when you were a part of some drama or setbacks altercations in your life that may have disheveled you or left you um left you off feeling off on the beaten course in some way and you may have felt like you couldn't have found your way but like i feel like you somehow put yourself back together in spite of even those people that surround you um in spite of drama chaos distraction in spite of being haggard uh, in spite of going through madness disgrace all of it being wounded and everything you somehow felt centered throughout the occasions and the spirits you are led and this is how I feel like you were protected from something about coins, pennies, senses, losing your senses, losing your money, losing your way. Because you kept connected to your soul, spirit. So the external entities had not an easy time trying to manipulate you, program you or drive you how they wanted to. You became like a ball of fire, ignited, aflamed, passionate, whatever. You became something else that they a force to be reckoned with that they did not expect. I feel like they thought that you would have been an easy target. Because that is how they set it up to be. They thought that you were the one being hunted and you were a vulnerable victim but you escaped there was some type of a judas situation that would have transpired but for some reason and it is unbelievable to the warlocks or whatever you would call them that you are so safe and sane and passionate and belonging so much that you're transforming the minds of creatures that behaved without ration without logic rationality or logic before that is the power of you and so the most high god wanted me to come and tell you give you this message eight of wands to I hear placebo <laughs> to place it in you at your own will and accord as somewhat of another divine guidance along your journey so that if you feel like you were out in the dark and you couldn't find your way so that you can this message can help you as a guide in some way to sharpen your senses and this could be one or a few of your senses um i don't know your instincts your natural insights let's say you're in the dark and you can't see which of your radar sonar powers wow okay when they try to put a veil over you in some way they who we don't know but you could feel it you turned up your radar your sonar powers your skills that is why i'm saying these warlocks did not expect it because they thought that they had you at, an, at a disadvantage i think that they were also spying on you watching over you in some way 
okay yeah like they thought that they were wearing you know this is reminding me of riddick this is what it's like being out in the desert i tell you that this is what it is this is what you went through five of wands energy all right and they had the night vision glass and they you did not have any and you were probably in their field okay and you 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 oh, they're they're like whoa like they did not expect it so guess what you've got the attention of many i hear and a few depending on where they're from viewing you and depending on if you have their hearts or their minds or whatever but you've awakened a different energy in this on this journey that you're on because some you're doing something bigger and better than was expected like they thought the show would be boring or predictable but you come and you pull off a twist so you have the attention of different energies coming in and so i'm telling you like most i wanted me to tell you this for you to know and something about your dreams there there's something about your dreams and you getting money in your dreams imagine your dreams is a bank and you just go to the to the bank to get some money or when you go to some place someone hand you some money and you just leave so the dream i'm getting like a dream is that place where you go to get something and just it's just a venue or an, an area port like a port right of or like a um that's a spot where you meet someone there may be something else for that um i think you should collect something in there some type of uh, information or someone has some information incoming to you something about from the bank something about credit cards and statements and you're going to get something that was a hassle in some way and maybe the hassle was because of other people entities or groups that were standing in your way and i'm getting to some extent deliberately because of m some mindset that they have in some way shape or form like they just think they they have to put you through a hard time and if you if if things are working out smoothly for you then like who do you think you are here's some hard time person like i'm just maybe these are official people or whatever so but i'm getting that you're getting some your case be heard too and i'm also getting that you're going to be speaking with people that speak in different languages um but they also they're able to understand your plight or whatever your mission is i think you're taking charge and changing the course of action this is the devil card i hear succumb i really did not expect i didn't know what to expect but the devil card is I hear a narcissist okay and some payments <clears throat> okay so we have the devil card on the board as the first card well okay standards and I do feel it is in your own energy cancerian you could also be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus strong Capricorn energy oh my gosh after the devil card is the tower card the tower card is next the tower card is misery the devil card is um, obsessions, addictions, um, corruption. The tower card is misery, exposure, media. All right. Bad news also. The strength card is next. I feel like you are something about Babylon. However, you are raising frequencies here. You are like a mighty dynamite or mighty dynamite player vibration. Some souls or some people felt will feel lost or felt lost in this time. Something is over though. Someone that wanted to take over, play games. They are put somewhere like on they're they're not in control anymore. Somewhere, someone or something is not in control because they had some control and they were wreaking some type of a havoc so power has been taken out of someone's hands i'm telling you and they are now put to the back because they cause they cause a lot of havoc someone did i'm not sure who this was but they're like put to sit down put on a chair and to behave because someone got away with some power they got thing 
so imagine this is someone's spoiled child for example but this someone is a powerful person and then their 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 child got to play with some things that they shouldn't have been messing with and they did too much they caused too much trouble okay i'm telling you okay and this could be something that transpired in some a person that is uh of uh in Rudu. i will hold that one to myself i suppose thank you um yeah mm -hmm. so that's what happened and so like this person now they're just they're not a narcissist and they're used to getting their way and um so they're not used to being disciplined okay but now some power has been taken out of their hands so you can expect some things to sort of change as the people that have taken power maybe like a parent or whoever a brother shenanigans who have taken power from this person now that was doing too much they're going to have to figure out what to do next I'm getting a mother. I'm getting a warrior. I'm also getting something about uh, emergency and a pregnancy. Okay? Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is that emergency energy. Pairing that with the Tower card. But the Strength card is giving me confidence, courage, boldness, and reassurance right here. And the energy of victory and not being afraid. of Because the Devil card is also fair. In not being afraid in the in the face of adversity, not being afraid of challenges that may come one's way, because this is nothing that was not expected by the person standing in strength energy. This is something that you've braced yourself for. You are courageous. You are confident, and um, you're just naturally outstanding. And so you you expected this maybe rebuttal you expected this reaction from someone that may be coming at you with a lot of words that they're saying or feedback that they're coming toward you with uh to sort of challenge you um but this is like them trying to get you to uh shift down a little bit size down buckle down imagine this is a bidding uh who who has you know higher lower numbers right so if you hold your place this person will budge it's like a game a mind game going on here mm -hmm. yeah so trust yourself page of cups seven of pentacles yeah this is something that has somehow happened or i'm hearing that you probably are rewriting history um, you're just not afraid. You're just so confident. You, you're because there's nothing to be afraid of. If you were afraid, then this entity, I hear, mm, I'll hold that one too. Then this entity would um be able to interfere with you, but you would know who you are and you know what the the pl I hear slogans. You know what they're going to try and deploy next. I hear increase. Someone is going to also try to go to white people and promise them some increase of some in some way to like in exchange for something. But it's not it's kind of shaky. Ten of Cups dreams coming true. I'm getting like yes. Also be vigilant. Watch your back. Protect yourself. Because someone may try to come at you from a different unexpected angle. I hear extinguish or extinguisher with the Knight of Wands, fire energy, the tower card. They may try to put a blame on you in some way, shape or form. Like they may do something and then try to say you do it, but it is um it is um it is a way for them to sort of bring you down. So imagine this is like a competition and who gets the better credit. You know? can become mayor of townsville so this one of them was corrupt so they tried to they did something corrupt and then they wanted to say it was other people did it like look he did it he did it because they didn't want anyone to um believe in him they just wanted 
to put some 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 heat on this person to take him away so that he's out of the running or maybe so that the truth don't come out or so you don't show up yeah this person someone was playing unfair i'm telling you this is and some unfair games are being played when it comes to numbers when it comes to feedback i hear dress rehearsals you know someone was like they were trying to lie and they they expected you not to show up to speak up to defend yourself they were looking forward to that they expected that if this was something that was brought before justice they expected that you wouldn't have shown up they would show up and you wouldn't have because they thought that whatever they did you were sure to give up in some way five of diamonds but i'm getting that this person they did not know you they don't know you <laughs> you know what i'm saying they don't know what you're made of you know what i'm saying no um so now they get to find out which is a, which is fortunate for them that's good for them that they get to see you get to know you know the truth of who you are what you are made of how you show up and for them to continue getting to know you because right now they're kind of just obsessed with you too knight of wands and the devil card they can't stop watching you they can't stop taking you in you're like sweet snacks you know okay so someone spends a lot of time watching you and they want to give back to you there's something about a watch on someone's hands so you're marvelous and you're getting a lot of attention. You're leveling up ten of diamonds energy. Things are happening for you, multiple successes. You've been through a lot though. You know, and you still are here to go through some things. That is why you remain standing here, hanging on, hanging in there firm and strong, bracing yourself for the newness. You know how to have a faith, how to trust in yourself, how to speak your truth. I feel like this is a message, a confirmation message from the most high. Just letting you know that he believes in you, confirms you, appreciates you, supports you, how you chose to move, what you chose to do, what you chose to invest in. And he approves of what is coming forward for you and protects it. So watch out for that. And I love you. Ace of Swords energy, speaking, clarity, truth. And that's what's up. Much love. Bye.